This is going to be a quick audio comparison between the Blue Yeti and the Tascam DR05. In my opinion, they've got pretty much equal-ish sound quality, like they're both pretty good. Now I don't have any special setup, I don't have any pop filters, I have the Yeti on its stand that it comes with, and I'm just holding the DR05. They're both 6 inches away from my mouth. The Blue Yeti is set in cardioid mode and the Tascam is just omnidirectional microphones. Now I've used both of these microphones for about two years each. If you're someone who watches my channel, you should know that I use my Tascam for my Moto vlogging setup. So what I'm going to do right now is show you something that one microphone can do that the other can't. The Blue Yeti is hooked up to the computer by a USB microphone, which means you can't really travel with it. It's not a portable microphone unless you bring like a laptop to plug it into or something. The Tascam DR05 is a portable audio recorder. It's meant to be taken with you. It's meant to be portable. So I'm just going to switch over to the Blue Yeti right now and I'm just going to start walking away. I have the Tascam with me still. I'm holding it still about six inches away, but I'm walking away from the Blue Yeti. But now I'm going to switch over to the Tascam DR05 and I'm just going to keep on walking. I'm literally walking away, walking into another room. But anyway, I'm just going to come back to my computer. Now the Blue Yeti is basically plugging into the computer and it's done. It's ready to use as a recording device. But I've actually found a way to use the Tascam as a recording device or to get the recording through to the computer live so it can actually be used that way as well. And what you do is you plug, there's a little line out slash headphone jack. So you just plug in that jack because it's also line out, which means you could plug it to the line in of your computer. You probably don't want to plug it into the microphone port of the computer because it'll be too loud and noisy. Now I'm about a foot away from both microphones, maybe even more now, about a foot away. And like I said before, nothing special. The Yeti is just on its little stand that it comes with. The stand is on my desk. There's nothing vibrating on my desk, so that's not a problem. If you have a laptop or a computer on your desk, that might be a problem. Okay, I'm back six inches away from both microphones like I was at the start of the video. I'm not using any compression or EQ in any of this. Just dry, pure sound in both of them. So now I'm going to demonstrate background noise for both of them. I have a computer about three to four feet away from both of these. I also have a clock ticking in the background and an air conditioner running at the moment. So this will be the Blue Yeti starting now. This is the Blue Yeti. Okay, and now I'm going to switch over to the Tascam DR05. So I don't know how much of a difference there is between the two of them. Technically, you'd expect the Yeti to pick up less background noise because of the cardioid pattern. Basically, without any special treatment, the best way I've found for to reduce background noise is either have the microphone close to your mouth or talk very loud. And if you have any sound meters, if you use Audacity or anything with sound meters, you can see the difference between your talking volume and the background noise volume. Right now I'm seeing about negative 54 decibels on the background and about negative 12 on my talking. I'm talking fairly loudish, like I want you to hear me kind of loud, but not screaming. Basically, the louder you are to it, the, quiet, the more of a difference there will be between you and the background noise. But there are plenty of other things you can do. Noise gates, VST plugins. You could like soundproof your keyboard by putting a towel over it. I've heard of things like that and I think someone actually put a blanket over them as they talked. Um, there's other things I've seen like put the put the microphone inside like a, a box with foam inside inside it. I don't know how well any of that stuff works. I've never tried any of that but it does sound interesting. So I'm just gonna end this here. I don't want to go off too much about all these other topics but I just thought I'd make a quick audio comparison between the two microphones because I thought both of them were pretty good sounding. And maybe if you're thinking of buying your own microphone, this might help you if you want to buy one or the other. And like I said before, it all depends on what you need it for. Alright, I'm going to say bye and I hope this is useful.
but now I'm about six inches away again because I don't want to stay too far because it makes your your vo okay start over now I'm back since now I'm back since <laughs> now I'm back since <laughs> I just can't say it now I'm back since oh my gosh I just can't say it